Thank you for that quick update. Uh, more breaking inputs coming in. And Dragon is back to what it does best, peddling lies and propaganda. After being pushed back, after being given a hammer blow at Tawang by Indian forces, look what China is saying. This is Xi's propaganda machinery in an overdrive. Chinese military is now saying that Indian troops illegally crossed the disputed border. China now once again resorting to lies. The Raksha Mantri made it clear in parliament that it was the Chinese PLA that tried to alter the status quo, that tried to breach the peace pact. And this comes after several rounds of talks that uh, both sides had on uh, military level talks that India and China has had. But in Tawang, the Chinese PLA with a clear intention to provoke tried to trespass something that Raghunath Singh has confirmed, that the government has confirmed, it was the Chinese military, the Chinese forces, the PLA, that tried to breach the peace pact and tried to alter the status quo. But Beijing now once again in denial. But what do you expect from a country that is still lying and in denial about the losses it and the humiliation it suffered in Galwan? This is the Galwan template that China is now adopting in Tawang. Indian army pushed back, our braves fought valiantly, pushed back the PLA, chased them away, but China is now blaming India. Propaganda works best for Xi Jinping. Shinjo Chaudhary now joining us for more on this. Shinjo, are you surprised? Shinjo. All right, we'll go to Shinjo in just a bit, but this is a big breaking input coming in. China back to pushing and peddling propaganda. Just a few moments ago, we told you how Beijing is now trying to play down the humiliation, the embarrassment it had to face in Tawang after India pushed back the PLA firmly. A befitting reply was given to the PLA provocation, and now China, with a bloody nose in Tawang, trying to put the blame on India. Chinese uh, media reports and the military is pushing this there. They are now putting the blame on India by suggesting that it was the Indian forces that trespassed. India has never done that in the past. We have always followed the line and the peace pact and the treaties we've had with China. But China has on several occasions, even in the past, tried to breach peace. And in this particular case, the government has confirmed this. And let's play out Rajnath Singh's comment. Rajnath Singh addressing the parliament, both in Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, said that it was the Chinese PLA that tried to alter the status quo. But Chinese propaganda machinery once again in an overdrive. And there's a reason why China is doing this, because viewers just think about it. Here's a country that is now facing heat from its own people. We'll talk about it. Let's uh, get in a word from Shinjoy. Shinjoy, the Chinese propaganda machinery is now saying that it was the Indian troops that uh, trespassed. Hello. Yes, Shinjoy, if you can hear you. If you can yes, hear me, yes. we can hear you clearly. Go ahead. Yes, Pranesh, if, if you have to believe China, then thousands of Indians, troops and civilians have trespassed because China believes that all of Arunachal Pradesh is Chinese. But the Chinese cannot be, cannot be uh, taken uh, from what they say because they are the ones who have been planning this attempted intrusion from the uh, beginning of this month. They are the ones who have built up troops in that area. They are the ones who came in at about 2 o'clock in the morning, 2.30 in the morning. So if that is so, then how is India uh, being blamed for this? India saw that this buildup was happening over a period of time. For about 7, 10 days, this was happening. There was an altercation, uh, not a clash, an altercation on the 31st or 30th or the 1st. But after that, the Chinese have been building up, and they are still building up, is the point. So as a result... When the Chinese moved in or tried to move in, India was ready. All the Indian troops were there. At the place where the main clash took place, you had uh, troops from the 
uh, jackriff there and they stood firm they pushed the chinese back in the other place also that was much smaller much less intense again the same thing happened so very clearly the chinese have been given a bloody nose and they are cribbing about it and you know this is not surprising shri joy because you know before you joined us i was talking about the kind of propaganda the china has resorted to in the past and you would remember that while china is facing covid backlash the kind of things it is resorted to porn stranger can you believe it so if you search for covid backlash china it will take you to porn pages my god but well that that's what you expect so because they have an issue here they have their own people and they have to be told there's no other there's no free media in china so there's no one going to t- go around and tell the chinese people that no no the government is wrong so they have clear access to their people and they tell the people what they want that's really the bottom line china wants to blame india because china believes that it can whatever it says to the people of china it will be accepted stay on with us so hold on to that line let's play out what rajnath singh the raksha mantri said in parliament हमारी सेना ने दृढ़ता के साथ सामना किया है अध्यक्ष महोदय और इस और इस फेस ऑफ में हाथापाई भी हुई है भारतीय सेना ने बहादुरी से पीएलए को हमारी टेरिटरी में अतिक्रमण करने से रोका और उन्हें उनकी पोस्ट पर वापस जाने के लिए मजबूर कर दिया अध्यक्ष महोदय कि हमारे किसी भी सैनिक की न तो मृत्यु हुई है और न ही कोई गंभीर रूप से घायल हुआ है जब तक भारतीय जनता पार्टी की मोदी सरकार चल रही है एक इंच जमीन पर भी कोई कब्जा नहीं कर सकता कल अपने सेना के जवानों ने जो आठ की देर रात को और नौ की सुबह को जो वीरता दिखाई है मैं इसकी बुरी बुरी प्रशंसा करता हूं इन्होंने घुसे हुए सभी लोगों को कुछ ही घंटों में वापस खदेड़ दिया और हमारी भूमिका रक्षण किया है सिंजॉय आफ्टर द रक्षा मंत्री सेज दिस इन पार्लियामेंट ऑब्वियसली रैटल्ड the chinese the propaganda machinery in an overdrive oh undoubtedly you see what happens is the chinese have always said that we don't listen to x and y and z speaking we only listen to what the government says and if the government has said this and if the government has said this in parliament uh, then the chinese will surely be rattled because the chinese know that this is the truth and this is the truth they don't want their people to know so that is why you have all these fabrications that the chinese will involve in that india illegally trespassed and this and that and so on and so forth what basically has happened is that the chinese tried to push the indians out and in the indians have given a bloody nose that's really the bottom line the chinese got a bloody nose and now they are lying with a straight face so shinjo thanks for that quick update